Hi everyone, my name is Carol and this is my YouTube channel about Cinema Guitar Would Cry. I decided to create a video playlist about fetishism in cinema as I wrote two university term papers on this topic, which were really valuable for me as a starting point in media researches field. And I just want to share some of the thought-provoking things I had found out. In this video, we will figure out how modernity, cinema and fetishism are connected, why this topic is of current importance for film studies, and we'll dive deep into the history of fetishism concept as a beginning of our journey. Modernity is a remarkably paradoxical era, which from the one point of view opposes all previous eras, creates its new reality in all cultural spheres, and from the other inherits the traditions of the preceding historical periods without which modernity would be unthinkable. In this context, fetishism is that phenomenon in which this succession manifests itself in a desacralized form. Arising as a result of capitalism, industrialization, urbanization, increasing mobility and the incredibly fast development of technologies, modernity was the time when relations to things were reformulated in a new combination. Such cultural tendencies of modernity era in rethinking the relationships between people and goods created the circumstances in which the phenomenon of fetishism became the popular object of analysis. Fetish generally in both Marxist and Freudian theories is considered as an object that has been endowed with higher value than it actually has. The initial lack of clarity in understanding the nature of fetishism led to a large number of theoretical questions, among many of which were what a fetish object really is and who is a true fetishist, Africans with their culture and magical idols, or Christian Europeans excited by the interaction with new objects are typical of their religious but no less fetishistic culture. Or maybe it's worth considering as fetishists only those persons who, from the perspective of psychoanalysis, have perverse relationship to certain things only through which pleasure becomes available to them. Or is it ultimately all about commodity fetishism, described by Karl Marx? While theorists made their best efforts to find answers to many just appeared critical cultural issues about fetish as a phenomenon, Modernist culture reinforced the effect of fetishization through rapidly growing media. In this perspective, cinema as a paradigm of modern media is of particular importance for studying the forms in which fetishization began to appear on the screen and how it influenced society. Considering cinema as an influential form of embodiment of fetishization on the screens is reasonable due to the fact that cinema is also a product of modernist culture. The fetishizing characteristics of cinematography usually include the following Commodity fetishism of Hollywood film production system Fetishistic objectification of the female image in movies Fetish of art of European modernism and Fetish properties of screening techniques All these topics we will discuss in this video playlist, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And in order to be able to find answers to these exciting questions, it's very important to understand the nature of fetish, its history. And step by step, we'll reach the understanding what it actually is. So, let's get straight into it! Fetishism as a phenomenon is long-standing. Together with idolatry, these concepts were originally intended to explain a superstitious attitude to objects, phenomena and generally primitive behavior inherent in pagan and non-European societies. But by the end of the 18th century, Charles de Brosses coined the term fetishism so that the terms idol and fetish were differentiated. Hamid Berm in his book Fetishism and Culture conditionally divides the history of the gradual articulation of the concept of fetishism in European culture into two stages. 
The first stage was driven by the clash of Europeans with African culture in the 60s and 70s centuries. The new term, which sounded in Portuguese as fechiso, was a transformed concept of idol and it quickly spread from Portugal to Holland, Spain, England, France and Germany. The second stage became a logical subsequent reflection on the fetish, manifested in the form of scientific research in the field of religious and ethnology researches. Exactly at this phase, fetishism ceases to be understood as exclusively a category for describing primitive cultures and begins to be considered from the point of view of fetish practices already existing in European culture. Although it should be noted that the interaction of two different cultures in trading posts of West Africa coast became one of the driving forces for the new kind of fetishism due to the fact that such intercultural environment served as transfer and redefinition of objects moving between fundamentally different social systems. Under these circumstances, a new perspective connected with the capacity of tangible objects embody religious, commercial, aesthetic and sexual values appeared. Altogether, these characteristics of fetish could only become apparent along with the gradually established ideology of the commodity form, which consequently developed in the context of the regular collision of two completely different types of society, which faced each other in a stable cross-cultural situation. Although fetishes was not a new phenomenon, since the end of the 19th century and the entire 20th century, it has become the focus of attention of various studies, primarily because the fetish was that mystical issue which contained various kinds of paradoxes that could not but concern a significant number of European critics of the time. And if the definition of fetish indicates a special relationship with things in which a fetishist endows the object with more properties than it actually possesses, then this attitude to things raised many questions about the reasons for such attitude, the answers to which can be found in Freudian, Marxist and feminist attempts to unravel the nature of the fetish. There are several reasons for such striking preoccupation with the um, concept of fetishism. First, it's worth considering that the reaction to fetishism as a controversial religious practice from a Christian point of view was rather detached, since fetishism was not associated with European culture. But by the end of the 19th century, the concept of fetishism began to be used not only to indicate the otherness of others like non-Europeans, but expanded to all forms of the cultures in general and included religious as well as Christian fetishism fetishism of commodities and sexual fetishism, so that the concept suddenly became like the dark side of European culture itself. All these phantasmagorias that struck modernist culture needed to be caught, deciphered and analyzed in order to understand and be able to get rid of this frightening pervert shadow of themselves. The researches on fetishism seemed to become the key to solving this society's task. Already in the 20th century, the concept of a fetish began to be used to describe and criticize various aspects of modernist culture. The system of stars and personality cults in the entertainment industry, fetishistic manifestations of fashion, aestheticization of commodities through advertising and objectifying relations to the image of human and especially female bodies. All these much more indicated that fetishism can be found in many forms of expression of a modernist society spreading to all levels of everyday culture as a determinant of religious, economic, consumer and sexual behavior. Europe was literally invaded by the object of its criticism, which, being inextricably linked with Christian and African heritage, begins to inadvertently be included in the economy of modernist reality, developing in capitalistic circumstances. The growing number of products on the market made it clear and increased the effect of fetishization, and technological progress, which made possible the continuous representation of images on screens, strengthened and reinforced these effects. In the next part, you will find out the basic characteristics a fetish has and what functions it performs. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time! Bye!